StellarX's storyboarding tool allows you to create animations in your virtual reality experiences. In this tutorial, I will show you how to achieve this, and I will take as an example this scenario which consists in repairing an airplane engine. At the end of the repair, I want the plane's propeller to start spinning in order to show the user that the repair worked. So let's start by adding a propeller to the aircraft engine from the collections of 3D objects included in StellarX. Using the grab option, uh, I will correctly place the propeller on the nose of the plane, like this. Now that the propeller is placed, I will import a storyboard canvas to create my animation. The canvas, also called Minigraph, can be found in the Experience category of the collections. By importing the canvas, I will place it near the object I want to animate, which will facilitate my work and my location in my scene. In my scenario, I have already planned animations, so that one with the screws going into the engine when it comes into contact with the drill is here. And the activation of the propeller will complete this repair. Let's start by importing the play animation node into our canvas, so uh, that will allow us to animate the propeller. So uh, this can be found in uh, the action category and in the animation subcategory. The node now appears in my canvas. Wishing the propeller would start spinning when the repair is completed, uh, I am going to link the animation of the propeller to the animation of the screw, which will become its trigger. It's like creating a chain reaction. And I choose to connect it to the unfinish terminal since uh, I want my propeller to start turning after the screw is in the engine and not at the same time uh, as the screw goes inside. Now I will register my propeller in the scenario by assigning it a reference node. I know I can animate my propeller because the animation line appears on the object's reference node. If the reference node of your object does not indicate the animation line, it means that your object is not provided with an animation, so you won't be able to animate it that way. I now attach the propeller to its animation node by connecting the asset terminals to each other and the animation terminal to the clip terminal of the play animation node. So now when I review my scenario I can see that when the screw animation is finished it will send the command to the animation node to spin my propeller. The last step will be to adjust my animation. I can do it with the remix panel of the animation node, which I access by pointing it with my controller and clicking on my joystick. Here, I can adjust the speed of the propeller, its state at the start and at the end of the animation. Here, the state at the start is zero, which means that the propeller will be stationary. At the end of the animation, the state is set to one, which means that the animation is on. I can also loop the animation, which I choose to do to keep the propeller spinning on itself, instead of stopping after making just one turn. My animation is set, my node is connected to the propeller and to its trigger event, so now I will save my progress and run a preview to see the effect. The preview mode allows you to test your experience as if you were a target user, which is pretty handy. So I am going to grab the drill, put it in contact with the screw, and when the screw is tightened, see the propeller will start to rotate. So you just saw how to trigger an animation for an object by linking it to a trigger event. So don't hesitate to browse this section and learn more about StellarX features and possibility that will allow you to create anything and experience everything.